Finally tonight, someone called it a modern-day Christmas miracle at a hospital in North Carolina. Security cameras caught footage of a white, human-like figure standing outside a 14-year-old Chelsea Banton's room, and her mother swears it just must be an angel. Banton had been in the hospital since September battling a severe case of pneumonia. Doctors said there was little hope for the young girl, but within moments of the light appearing, she started to feel better. Chelsea's mother says the angel is responsible for her daughter's miraculous recovery. What a beautiful story. It's a great, great Christmas story. story. Do you believe in miracles? Better. Yeah. What you're about to see is an unseen angelic superhuman person that saves a man on a motorbike from complete destruction by teleporting him a few meters away in less than a second and then flees from the scene as quickly as possible. There are all sorts of opinions for this one, so you be the judge. Here it is. К сожалению, последние годы эта красота подвергается все большей опасности. Только за последние 350 лет... Олежка, сори. Ой, ничего себе. Что это? Вау. In this video you're gonna see a real live angel. This footage was captured by a camera in the parking lot of a mall. And uh, you can see the moment when the angel comes down and he clearly picks something up from the ground. You can see there's people here uh, walking in this parking lot. Um, you can see the, there's uh, some light here. I'm gonna play and you can see the moment the angel comes down Watch this carefully, right there. I'm gonna pause so you can see. This is a real angel. You can see the wings. You can see it's uh, bending down. It picks something up and goes away. It is very fast. Of course, we know they are very fast. And then people in the parking lot, they see it, they come running. You can see them running. They come to check it out, check where the angel just came and uh, they uh, analyze the place, they look around, they look on the ground to see they have a flashlight or probably some uh, light on the cell phone and they uh, illuminate the ground the floor to see the exact spot where the angel just landed and took off and they, they're, you can tell they're amazed by what they just saw. Many people, it isn't just one person. This is a, a camera in the parking lot of a mall. 
you know, uh, it's important to emphasize that this is not somebody, uh, somebody's cell phone or anything like that. It's a security camera uh, of people in the mall. So I'm gonna play it again. So this guy is walking by. You're gonna see right here. Pay attention to the light. Pay attention how everything around uh, is illuminated by the angel when it comes down. So it comes down. Look at the light. There. You can see it, it sheds light everywhere around him, on the ground, around here, over here. You can see light over here. The light coming, emanating from the angels. Look at the wings. This is amazing. And uh, illuminates the light that uh, comes for it's a yellowish golden kind of light that emanates from him the glory that emanates from him and illuminates uh, uh, it's stronger than the light uh, the artificial light in the stores and the parking lot and it shines all around him from within uh, you can see there's light here and then, then this light the, uh, the light of the angel is stronger you're gonna see this light illuminating all around him when he comes down and this is the real deal. Look at this. It picks something up and it goes away. So it, it picks something up right there. You see, it picks something up. This is the moment when it comes down, it picks something up and it flies away. Um, I don't know, maybe somebody lost a jewelry or a wallet like it has happened to me and people not in my congregation or church so many times. And we pray and we ask God to send the angels to find whatever item we have lost. And we know the Bible says that the angels are ministering spirits uh, sent to serve uh, the children of God. In Hebrews chapter 1, verse 14, it says, Are not all angels spirits in the divine service sent to serve for the sake of those who are to inherit salvation? And like I said, in our congregation, we have many people who have lost items and they pray and ask the Lord to send his angels. And uh, the Lord sends the angel and the angel finds it and brings it back in lightning speed. You can see, watch how his light illuminates all around him, uh, all this area around him. Uh, his light is stronger than the light from the stores. And he picks something up and flies away, uh, I believe to retrieve it to the owner. It's just amazing. It's beautiful to watch. So here it is, real angel. This is the real deal. Um, and I, I pray and my, my prayer, my desire is that you will uh, believe in the angels that the Lord has sent to watch over you, the guardian angels, and that you will pray to the, to the Lord and pray to the Father to send his angels to minister to you, to bless you, and to help you with whatever need you have. So this is it. This is a real angel caught on camera. I hope you uh, enjoyed it. God bless you. В интернете активно распространяется видеоролик, на котором девушка чудом избегает столкновения с машиной. Некто загадочной движущейся с нечеловеческой скоростью, спасает девушку за секунду до того, как ее ударит автомобиль. Также быстро незнакомец исчезает во мраке. Видеоролик сняла камера уличного видеонаблюдения расположенная за дорогой. На кадрах видно, что девушка хочет пересечь дорогу, на которой практически нет машин. Первую машину она успешно обошла, а вторая внезапно увеличила скорость. И если бы не герой-призрак, трагедии бы избежать не удалось. Человек молния или супермен. Так называют пользователи интернета таинственного незнакомца. Ведутся горячие обсуждения насчет того, не монтаж ли это. И если нет, то как объяснить загадочное явление? I saw something. This one, this one. Yeah, I saw something. I saw something.
One frosty evening in December 1981, Roy Godwin was driving with his wife and children. We were travelling on a main road, quite a, a wide main road, through a forest. And suddenly there were four headlights side by side, immediately in front of us. One car overtaking the other. I instinctively pulled the car to the left onto the grass verge. But the car that was in front of me hit us head on. It was very serious indeed. I was quite clear that I was dying. Both the police and an ambulance came. The smoke started to come up from the front of the car and they needed to get everybody out. They couldn't get me out because I was well and truly trapped in there. Roy believes that whilst he was waiting to be freed from the damaged vehicle, something quite miraculous happened. I was alone in the car. Suddenly through the darkness came a figure and he walked very steadily and clearly straight between the trees through the forest which was impenetrable, certainly at that time with brambles. But he walked in a straight line, straight to the side of the car. And he climbed in, the seat was covered with broken glass, but he simply sat there. He was wearing a coat with a hood up, didn't see his face. But he put his arm straight across my shoulder. It felt as though I'd been plugged into the mains. This incredible force and power was just continuously flooding through me. After a while, the ambulance men came over and said that they were taking my family off to hospital. And at that point, this person who was sitting by me climbed out of the car and said with a very strong and clear voice, stop. And he said to the ambulance men, you're to bring his wife over here to him. And they brought her over to me. And then he spoke to me. He said, man, you are to know that your wife and children and you as a family will be together again and whole and you are to disregard anything else that anyone tells you. What was the reaction of the doctors when you got to hospital and they saw your injuries? I was wheeled straight into theatre and they asked me to sign a form giving them permission to amputate my left foot and blow a leg. And I couldn't give them that permission because all I could hear was you were to disregard anything that anyone else says. You and your family will be together and you will be whole. And so I didn't have my foot amputated and I have it today and we're doing very well together. One of the things I was concerned was that because of the seriousness of my injuries, I dreamt it all as it were. But some weeks after the accident, the police turned up and announced. And they had two questions. Given the extent of the damage to the car, they wanted to know whether I had any explanation as to how it was that I was still alive. And then their second question was about the figure who was in the car with me, who had carried such authority that they had unhesitatingly obeyed it. It seems to me as though God sent an angel to help me. I knew I wasn't abandoned. I knew I wasn't on my own. I was clear that God was going to carry me through where I was. And I felt loved.